Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be um doing a problem similar to the to last the last video, and so let's just jump right into it. So um we're gonna start it off the same way as we started the last uh, the last problem uh, in the last video. So well, what can we notice from here? So we have cosine and cosine here, sine and sine. Well, it's gonna be um obviously not a sine function, so it's gonna be cosine, right? And since it's a negative here, it's gonna have to be the addition. So so, and then let's just say 4, 4 power 5 is A and 7 power 10 is B, right? So you're adding those. So cosine of 4 power 5 plus 7 power 10. Okay. And now we're going to do two steps in one. What can we uh, convert 4 pi into 5? Uh, 4 power 5 into? Uh, well, we could just make it 8 power 10, right? So you can add these together. Cosine of? Well, that's 15 power 10, right? And then you simplify that too. Well, if you divide both uh, the numerator by 5, you get cosine of 3 pi over 2. Well, that sounds like a familiar um, a familiar uh, angle, and that's because it is. Because if we look at the unit circle, right? Our unit circle is split into... Each quadrant is split into pi over 2. They're all pi over 2 away. So... Um, this part over here, that's pi over 2, right? The angle here, right here, this point is pi over 2. Here, just pi, right? And then here is 3 pi over 2, right? And what do we also know about this point, right? And then you encircle this point in the middle. This is the origin, that's 0, 0. And every, um, the end of each uh, quadrant line, like at the end of each ac um, division of the axis, is all 1, right? So here, this point is 0, negative 1. And since um, every point in the unit circle is always cosine theta, comma sine theta, right? Since it's always that, we know that cosine here is zero, right? Cosine of three pi over two equals zero. So the answer here is zero. And even if we use um, what we have up here, we can use reference angles, right? Um, if you uh, if you do um, three pi over two minus uh, um, pi, right? That's what you do in the when you're in the third quadrant. Well, then you get pi over two, right? And then um, if you look here, cosine of pi over two, which is ninety, is zero. So that's how you get zero. And yeah, that's really it for this video. Thank you.